My name is Lindsay Moses, and with my co-author, Laura Kelly, we wrote the article, The Development of Positive Literate Identities Among Emerging Bilingual and Monolingual First Graders. The purpose of this study was to examine ways in which classroom literacy practices could support the positive identity development of young readers. Uh, we selected two case studies, one with a first language of Spanish and one of a, with a first language of English, and both of which were initially positioned by assessment scores and the school literacy specialist as quote unquote struggling readers uh, because of their ability to decode and assessment scores. So the goal was to look at um, what literacy practices contributed to their eventual positive identity negotiations throughout the course of the year. We collected data using microethnographic approaches over the course of the year for 90-minute language arts periods once a week. Um, and during that time, we video recorded lessons, conferences, we completed interviews with the students, with the teacher, and we traced the students' identity trajectories over the course of the year. We began the initial analysis of the 1,500 pages of transcriptions by using critical discourse analysis as a way to deconstruct the power and sort of see the institutional forces that were positioning our two case studies as students who needed support. After the initial critical discourse analysis, we wanted to identify the positive ways in which students were making space for themselves and how our two case studies were developing identities as experts and competent members of the reading community. So in order to do that, we identified literacy practices that served as cultural tools for these two students to position themselves in positive ways throughout the rest of the year. The positive discourse analysis helped us look at and analyze their positive positioning, but also the literacy practices that were available that supported that. This included everything from language frames to comprehension strategy documentation, a focus on partner reading and discussion, and discussion group practices. These literacy practices, along with learning how to access and decode text, allowed students who are newly learning to to code, to still position themselves as competent members. They built on background knowledge, they negotiated meaning together, they discussed inferences and critical thinking. And so we really believe that the significance of this study is in the importance of focusing on meaning making, building on background, and also for researchers to begin looking at long-term examples of ways that students can positively position themselves. So in this instance, we looked at the students' positioning, but also the literacy practices that were made available in this inquiry-based first grade classroom.